Guys, guys, this is important. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Good. Bonjour. Hey the people, it's your boy Tia Tindi and welcome back to another Gacha Reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to the video called Behave Baby by Gacha Gacha Yuri. I have no idea if this is actually good or if it's actually bad, but anyways, let's try watching it. And whoa, oh my god, it's actually animated. Okay, I'm hoping to see some quality content now. Sit still, you worthless brat. I'm doing you a favor by making you look presentable. Mom, please, it hurts. Can you please cut my hair? I don't want it long anymore. Oh, listen to the little cry, baby. Can't handle a bit of discomfort, huh? I honestly have to say the animation is really, really good. Like wow i mean i don't really give extra points to animation and i'm more of a story enjoyer kind of person but i have to give credit where credit is due because the animation here is amazing well life isn't a bed of roses you useless piece of garbage i just want to be comfortable mom why won't you listen you think your comfort matters to me Okay, I'm expecting this to be one of those, you know, one daughter bad, but the other daughter for some reason is treated well for no apparent reason. Or maybe this is just the usual cliched stepmom thing. You're nothing but a burden, a constant reminder of my failures. I'm keeping your hair long because it's the only thing that makes you remotely useful to me. Am I the only one person who thinks this is kind of similar to the plot of Tangled? You know, the Rapunzel movie? I thought you were supposed to love me, Mom. I thought moms were supposed to care about their children. Love? Huh. You delusional kid. Becomes emo. The only thing you're good for is making me look better, like I've got a little doll to play with. So shut up and be grateful I even bother with you. Okay, I understand these kind of characters, but I'm hoping and praying that she has a valid backstory to this. Like maybe she got, I don't know, traumatized or something, or maybe she's just a terrible person. And I hope we actually get to, like, understand why she's like this. If you actually manage to do that, I would be very happy. Now she's walking along and the animation looks amazing. We see another guy playing with plushies and such. Sophie, are you okay? What happened? Who did this to you? Okay, I am skipping a lot of animations in this because if I didn't, it's gonna get really long. But if you do want to experience the entire thing, you should definitely go watch the original. I, I just wanted to cut my hair, but my mother snapped and, and hit me. You don't deserve this, Sophie. Nobody should hurt you like this. Thank you, Dash. Okay, I have to admit, the inclusion of animation makes the scene seem more serious and it gives it more depth. I'm not saying the ones without animations are terrible. I'm just saying that the ones with animation has a little bit more feeling to them. Sophie, your hair is beautiful. It doesn't matter what others think. You look incredible. Yeah, but the thing is, she doesn't want long hair. That's the entire thing. She wants it off. And I know you're trying to be nice, but like, if she doesn't want her hair to be long, she should cut it. If she wants her hair to be long, then she shouldn't cut it. The thing is, her mom literally admitted that she loves her hair, and that's the reason why she won't cut it. So, if you just say that her hair is beautiful and she shouldn't cut it, it's just, it's just disagreeing with Sophie. Thank you. Here. What the heck? Punches her in the nose. I have something to tell you. I'm moving to another country. No, Dash, please don't go. I can't bear to lose you. Sophie, I can't imagine my life without you either. You're not alone, my friend. I love you. I have loved you for a long time. And even if we're apart, I promise that one day I'll come back for you. You, you love me? With all my heart, you're the most amazing person I know. And I want to be with you, no matter what. I want to give this to you before I go. Ah, oh, it's a little plushy. Thank you. I'll treasure this forever. Oh, we have anime cars. Ooh, anime scenes. I mean, it actually kind of fits. Come here. T turn around. You better remember what I told you, Alaric. If you dare bring shame upon me again. I won't forget, Mother. I promise. Don't you dare let anyone ruin that pretty face of yours. Do you understand? It's the only thing you've got going for you. I understand, Mother. I'll be careful. 
Did he just shrink his hair? I mean, if I could do that, that'd be cool. If people could do that, that'd be very convenient. Like, take a bath with short hair so you don't have to, like, dry your hair for a long time. Or maybe he just tied it up or something. I've been ranting about the animations for a while, but the extra animation or just animation in general gives the character slash characters more personality. And I like that. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hey, Alaric, just teaching our new buddy daddy a lesson of respect. Yeah, showing him who's in charge around here. Carry on then. Dude, why? I mean, if you said it because you don't care, or maybe you don't want to get involved, I kind of get it. But, I don't know. Gladly, if we were just getting started. Yeah, he needs to learn his place. Make it memorable, boys. Let's ensure he never forgets this encounter. Wow, Alaric, you seem like a good, well-adjusted person. Please, leave me alone. Babe, we talked about this. Baby, I thought you were in class. We need to talk right now. And it looks like she's chewing him out now. And <gasps> Slender Man? Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all ready for an exciting day of learning. Today we have a new student joining our class. Let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Oh, it's him, Dash. He's tall. Class, this is Dash... Dashiel? I don't know, personally I haven't heard that name before, but maybe it's a name. Dashiel, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Dashiel. I just moved here from a different state, so everything is new to me. I love reading, playing guitar, and exploring nature. I'm really excited to meet all of you. That's wonderful, Dashiel. Now let's make Dashiel feel at home here. You can sit over there in the back on the right. Yes, thank you, Miss Female, your name. Okay, one nitpick I've noticed so far. It's not really a major problem, but it gets annoying. Is that the text boxes don't actually stay for a long time. Like, it goes really quickly. So I legitimately have to pause and read it. What a nice fella. Oh my gosh, girl, did you hear his voice? He's so dreamy. I do that. It is my I can handle it. Okay, I'm gonna make Dashiell sound stupid. <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind if I join you guys. Of course, Dashiell, you can sit with us. Look at the new guy, he's already getting the chicks. Nah, no, I'm still Amy's number one. Right, babe? He looks kinda cute, not gonna lie. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, he does seem to be attracting attention. And he looks like he comes from money. I've got an idea, let's go and confront him. See if he's really worth the hype. Are you really gonna replace me, babe? I'm not gonna replace you if you're gonna be a good boy. I'll be a good boy. Don't take that out of context, please. After class? Okay, why the heck is he on the roof, alone, with his phone out? Hey, pretty boy. May I help you? We hear you're loaded. Hand over some cash or we'll make your life a living hell. Yeah, believe me, you don't want to see what we can do. Oh, really? You two are quite amusing. Do you think your empty threats and petty demands scare me? I have no idea why I'm giving him the, such a goofy voice. Oh, wait, I do remember. The girls were saying how nice of a voice he has, and so it's funny. You think you're tough? We'll see about that. Listen carefully. I don't know who you think you are, but I won't tolerate your bullying. I suggest you back off before things get ugly. And he got a red eye. I warned you, don't mess with me again. You'll regret this, Dashiell. Remember the next time you think about confronting me, think twice. You're right, dude. No, he got punched in the eye. What the heck do you think? Shit, it's serious. I gotta get him to the nurse's office. Few hours later. Now he's wearing an eye patch, poor guy. Where'd you get that wound? I fell down the stairs. You're not that clumsy. I fell down the stairs, okay? If you say so. Now they're in the toilet for some reason. Makeup. The wounds are still fresh. He can't do that. It'll only get worse. Who's there? He's walking home. Good evening, Alaric. Ready for your shift? Evening, Natalia. Yeah, I guess so. Is there anything lined up for me tonight? Yeah, you've got an appointment in about half an hour. I think this is a hostess bar. Basically, pretty men had women come here and talk to you while you consume alcohol or do stuff while they just give you company. Basically giving you the boyfriend slash girlfriend experience without all the bad no-no word. A client named Marcus. He's been a regular here, so don't worry too much. 
I'll brief you on the details. All right, thanks. I hope it goes smoothly. Oh, he's wearing a... Okay, I cannot take my eyes off of those lips. Not in the bad way, but also not in the good way. It's more of a... Oh, he's now dressed up like a girl. That's interesting. Sophie, you're even more beautiful in person than your picture suggested. Wait, this is Sophie? You know, the girl from the beginning? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, if this is the same Sophie, then how did she not recognize Dashiell? I'm so confused now. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Thank you, Marcus. I'm glad to hear that. It's my pleasure to spend time with you tonight. Is there anything specific you'd like to do? Get in the car. I reserved a table for us in a five-star restaurant. And here's Dashiell. Come in. Oh, God, why does that mom or whatever person look like a deranged serial killer for some reason? Like her eyes have no soul in them. What are you doing? Homework. Did you find her? No, I checked her old neighborhood and they said they moved out. Oh, so this is set in the future. Like, a long time in the future. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I guess she already moved on. I'm sure they only moved around here. You had a promise. Promises can be unfulfilled, Ma. So you'll just give up like that? You know how long you've been waiting for the moment? I looked everywhere. Socials, every city, schools. There's no Sophie. It's okay, there's still a bunch of girls in the world. Better than Sophie. Yeah, that's not a good thing to say to someone. I mean, you could just say, well, Sophie's dead. That's way worse. But, you know, <laughs> don't do that. Are you sure you want to walk? It's late and dangerous to be alone. Yes, it's been a pleasure to meet you, Marco. I hope we meet again. If you say so. Good night, Sophie. Good night. I'm tired. I'm confused. Is Sophie a him now? Or is Sophie still a her? I'm asking because I don't know what kind of voice I should give her. I would give Sophie Alaric. You know what? When Sophie is Sophie, I'm going to give her a female voice. And when Alaric is Alaric, I'm going to give him a male voice. I want to drink something before I go home. Dashiell? Hey, buddy, do something about your friend here. He's been out cold for an hour now. And we can't have him passed out of the bar. He's not my friend and I'm not his babysitter. That's your problem, not mine. Just take your friend somewhere, not here. Okay, seeing the BL gay in the title of the video, I'm going to think that Sophie was actually Alaric, but her or his mom actually made him grow the hair out. And, you know, people mistook him for a girl. And maybe that's what happened. But, like, I'm not sure. Maybe she was a girl, but is now transitioning to a guy. Maybe that's the case. I have no idea. Hopefully it gets explained. This is the best they could do. You can crash here for the night. See you tomorrow. Sophia, you've come back to me. Defi? How did you know that? What? He wouldn't be customers? How come I don't... How come I didn't remember that? He must have mistaken me for someone else. He drunk nine bottles of beer. He's drunk. How do you know that? You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna ask. What? No, I'm not Sophia. I'm Alaric, remember? It's you. You look just like her. My love. My everything. Dashiell, you're drunk. You're mistaking me for someone else. What? What are you doing? Why did you lock the door? Yes, Dashiell. What the heck are you doing? Dashiell? Hey, answer me. And he's just kissing him. Okay. Is this another enemies to lovers story or something? It doesn't matter. I missed you so much, Sophia. Let's forget everything and be together. You're definitely dead tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, this is not suitable for young kids. How many views does this video have? 587,000 views with 27,000 likes. Yeah, this is not for young kids, but like, I'm happy that you censored most of it. But like, I was not expecting to see that. If they did the deed and if Alaric slash Sophie didn't consent. So is this just freaking... Oh my god. Like, literally, Alaric didn't like Dashiell. Alaric didn't even want to do anything with him. And Dashiell just... Oh god.
This is not romantic or sweet or anything. This is just a crime now. What am I doing here? My head hurts. I drunk pretty much. But how did I get here? I remember passing out in the bar. Heck, I remember now I slept with someone. No, the technical term is you didn't sleep with someone. You kind of forced yourself on them. I know that's not really the technical term, but I don't want to say it. It must be a dream, right? I can't do that to someone. You did. You did. You drunk monster. I gotta go and apologize to them. Um, pretty sure saying sorry after doing all of that is not gonna do anything, but okay, sure, go ahead. Who are they again? Phone ring. It's cool. And that's about it. That's the end of the first chapter. Apparently there's a part two, but I have no idea if you people want to see it. And that's about it for this video. Thank you for all the channel members for supporting the channel. You people are the best. And yeah, I hope you have a good day and... Arrivederci!